Hey folks, it's Dave back here in Studio C with another unboxing video. And this one, this one's heavy. This is uh, one of the heaviest boxes I've ever got in for a game here. But uh, we're going to open up On Deck Baseball, okay? Now I'm going into this blind. Sometimes I might quick peek a game, just make sure I'm in the right, going in the right direction. But this one, I'm going in blind, so you're going to go in blind with me. All right, so here's that right there. Take this off right here. And nice, thick box. This box is really nice and thick. All righty, so on deck baseball, on the back. Now, this is just kind of cool. It's a, it's a printed box. Look at, look at all the print on this box. Every, everywhere you look, it's got on deck baseball and a little uh, on deck baseball league logo in the corner. And then on the back here, the guy right there. So. Imagine a baseball game where you call all the shots, not just your team, but your team, your league, your world. It's time to immerse yourself in a tabletop baseball experience where you have the ability to create a fictional baseball world on your terms. Welcome to On Deck Baseball. Alrighty, so they got the little sticker, and they even got the little On Deck Baseball sticker kind of keeping us closed. So here we go. So we are cracking this open. Okay, so the first thing that we have is the instruction manual. And it's, uh, oh, it's in full color. I don't know if you can see that, but it's in full color. A little descriptions and charts and everything. I like that. I like when they they do the full color. And they have pictures of the charts. And uh, I imagine this will explain everything. If not, then I'll go to some of the videos if I need clarifications. But Okay, so we have the instruction manual. That'll go right here. And then we have, wow, that's a little blank page. That must be a separator of some kind. Now we have, it's like a, it's like a Yahtzee booklet. Look at this. It's a, it's a booklet. You know? Uh, pitcher Fatigue Tracker. So I guess if this is you, if you were playing more than one game, or if you were playing a season or something, so you get your Pitcher Fatigue Tracker. This is a little, like, stat pad here. That's kind of neat. And then you have, <clears throat> this must be your... Injury or recovery. So player, team, games, injury, recovery, and days out. So this, oh, this one's really thick. Oh, no, there's two of them. I'm sorry. There's two of them back to back. That's why. All righty. So this must be your injury thing right here. So another, another Yahtzee pad, so to speak. And then looks like this is your, your lineups here. So you even have a, uh, a lineup pad. Score sheet, if you Oh, they're front and back, by the way. Ooh, look at that. Are these front and back? I don't think they are. No, these are not front and back. And these are not front and back. But this is. So I imagine that you would, you know, you put one team on one side and one team on the other side. So it gives you uh, um, the position to line up. And it has all the ratings for the player in these little boxes. So you could fill this in so you wouldn't have to refer to the card too much if you didn't want to. But so we have this here, again, full of um, the, the game, uh, that should be for the game. Uh, then we got the dice here they talked about. In, uh on the, the interview we did on Digital to Dice, he talked about dice, how we get special dice. So we have the three running tokens. So these must be the tokens for the runners. We have a couple of chips here. And then we have two 10-sided dies. I got a red and a blue. And they're 1 to 10. They're not 0 to 9. They're 1 to 10. As you can see, I don't know if you can see this here, but uh, that is actually a 10. And this is actually... A 10. So I guess he got these dice um, uh, from a, either specially made or from a special place. All right, so now, so we, now we got the cards here. So this, I believe, is, oh, we'll just take them order as I find it. So I think these are the pitcher hitting cards. So we have pitcher 2D, pitcher 2C, pitcher 2B, 2A, and then 1D, 1C, 1B, and 1A. All right. So these are the pitcher cards. Now look at these things. These things. This is your card. It's as big as my head. <laughs> so, but full color, boy, you you just, you know, if you're an older person and you have bad eyesight, you ain't gonna have any problem reading this card at all. So these are the pitcher cards. So we'll put the pitcher cards up here if they if they bat. Again, depending if you use a DH or not. I like to use a DH because it's a lot simpler. So now we got. Couple of charts here. Actually, we have a lot of charts here. So we got 
a situation matrix chart. So that I imagine that'll come up in the game at some point. We have a situation chart for the pitcher, and it looks like it's one to five on this side and six to ten on this side. It looks like that's how a lot of these charts are. They're one to five and six to ten. Oh, so, oh, so let's check this. So I got a situation chart pitcher, situation chart catcher, situation chart first base, situation chart second base, situation chart third base, situation chart shortstop, left field, center field, and right field. That's that's kind of neat. So every every position has their own own little chart here. If something comes up, and then I have a situation chart batter, and then I have the bunt chart. Good. I like that they had a bunt chart here, one to ten, because uh, bunt things always kind of funky in some of these games. So that we have a whole bunch of charts here, and now what is this? Ooh, this is hard. I want to make sure I don't damage this. I got to find a good little area to lift it up. So I can Take this out with my knife. Very careful here. Yeah. Ooh, this looks like a game board. Wow. Was not expecting a game board. Okay. So let's so let's in four and four pieces here. Wow. Let me slide this out of the way so you can see. Wow. Wow. This is this is cool. So I imagine that your inning and your outs would be out here. That's what this would be for, I would imagine. Wow, this is kind of nice. And then your run is on the field. And then obviously, and now this helps me. Again, I'm a casual baseball guy. I know I've been, you know, I played baseball as a kid and a whole bit, but I always get confused. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I know to some of you it's second nature, but I don't, like, ground ball five, a pop-up five. I, I have to think that through. So I like that they put this here. Um, just, again, I'm not a huge baseball guy, so I'm, this is not second nature for me. But I like that they have the positions here. So you have the board while you're playing, and if there's a position check or if it's a number, you know where it goes. So I do like that, but wow, you, you get a board with this game. This is fantastic. That is super, super cool. Oh boy, and now we get to uh, the meat and potatoes of what's going on here. So, in here I have the Phantoms, the Bulls, and the Hornets. And in here I get the the Drillers, the Gators, and the Knights. And, and look at these boxes. I mean, just look at the, the design here and the print on these boxes. I mean, this is, and it's right on the box too. I don't know how you even print on boxes like this, but... Great job. So now, let's take a look at some of the cards here. You hear that? <laughs> so, first thing I see is I have a, um, a little chart here for the Knights with wins and losses. So I imagine you could check off uh, if, you know, if they win or they lose here. Um, I got the Knights player information. So from what I gather is that... Uh, there's pre-made teams, but if you want, you can just have your own draft and, and draft different teams. But they do come with teams and rosters to get you up and running instead of just throwing a whole bunch of miscellaneous players at you. So I got the Knights. I got the Knights roster. Wow. They, they thought of everything on this. You got the schedule. They give you a schedule in full color like you would see, you know, if, if you went to the Internet and looked at a team. So that's their schedule. Against the other teams in full logo and with full color logos, very impressive. So like April, May, June, so it's a shorter season, but I suppose you could play as long as you wanted to and make your own schedule. So I got the schedule here. That is pretty sweet. So then I have the players here, and I just want to make sure. Uh, yeah, Paul Bowen. All right. So what they they did here. So I take it the Knights are in red, and what I like is that they did not put the, the team name on here, which is good because if they put Knights on here and then you wanted to do a fantasy draft, then, you know, that would be kind of messed up because now you got someone with the Knights on here, you know. But so this is the player card here. This is the pitcher. Um, each player, I don't know if it's a different pose for each player, but there's many different poses here that represent the players. And then you have all their relevant information on the card. So that's a picture card right there. Okay. And then on the back of the picture card, you got the picture chart. 
So there's the picture shot right there. And again, it's a uh, it's a 10 roll. So you get the blue 10 at the top and the red 1 to 10 on the side. And you just cross-reference to what it is. Um, it's got his error chart here. It's got his fatigue chart. The whole bit. So everything you need here is right on the card front or back. Let me show you a batter card here. So this is Al Alfonso Diaz. And let's see what position he plays. Primary position shortstop. So he's a primary shortstop and he's also a second baseman. So there's a uh, fielder batter card right there. And now it's a little bit more busy on the back. Because he's a fielder. So you got, you know, your, your stealing grid here. You got... Uh, the sacrifice bunt grid. So there's a couple different grids here depending on what's happening in the game on his card. So that's pretty cool. So so that's the Knights right there. The Knights are in red. And I got their schedule and the whole bit. So that's kind of neat. So those are the Knights. Then I got my Gators. And I imagine the Gators would be the same thing. You got your wins and your losses here for the Gators. I like the logo of the, uh, the little ball in the Gators mouth. And again, you got your schedule, and then you got all your players, your pitchers here. John Kelly, so the Gators are in green. And then I got my drillers. So I got the three teams here. I got the Knights, the Gators, and the drillers. So I'm going to put those back in the box. And then in the other box, I got the, the Phantoms, the Bulls, and the Hornets. So the base game looks like it comes with six teams. And I forget how many plays he said there were per team, but there's a lot of plays here to get you going. And again, if you wanted to do a draft, you, you could set up and do a draft with these players here, which is something I, I might do. I'll probably play a couple of games as is, but at some point I will probably uh, have a little draft league and have some fun with that. So anyway, so that is On Deck Baseball. So let me go over again what you get. Oh, this is really cool. This little separator here. Oh, this is my favorite part. Kidding. So this is what you get. So you get your six teams. Three in this one and three in this one here. Full cut, full color cards. Again, the cards are huge. Okay, that's how big they are. You get all your little charts here. Your bunt chart and then uh, a specialty chart, situation chart for all the different positions. You get your instruction manual. You get the dice, one to ten. You get three little runners here. You get your pitcher fatigue. You got your injury here. How many days you guys out? And then you got your little score sheet here. Okay, and then also you have your, your pitcher hitter cards. And then probably the coolest feature is this fold-out baseball diamond. Yeah, so as far as visual presentation of the game, I mean, this is great. I mean, you know, I, I love using stuff like this when I play. It just, it you know, just enhances your gameplay. It gives you some eye candy and the whole bit. And again, you can track your innings and your outs over here. So if you were doing a broadcast of it, you know, people could see the uh, the innings and the outs. You just need a little scoreboard on your phone or something to show the score. But there it is. On Deck Baseball Unboxing. I'm hoping to get to uh, to check out the instructions the next day or two and start playing some games. I think uh, myself and Ron talked about playing uh, over StreamYard one night. Is playing a game over StreamYard and showing this game off. So hopefully, if not this weekend, then early next week, we're going to get to some gameplay videos for On Deck Baseball. Anyway, I'm Dave from Studio C. I'll talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.